Good day everyone. My name is Mr. Chisum. So today we'll be looking at the posterior abdominal wall. We'll be looking at the muscles, the nerve, and some vessels in the posterior abdominal wall. So these are the small intestine. So we'll shift it apart so that they will expose the posterior abdominal wall. So I'm removing the beaver now. Then I'll shift the kidney, the right kidney apart. So this is the muscles in the posterior abdominal wall. And in the posterior abdominal wall, we have about four muscles there. We have the psoas major muscle. This is the psoas major. We have the psoas minor muscle. This is the psoas minor. We have the iliacus muscle. This is the iliacus muscle. Then we have the quadratus lumborum. This is the quadratus lumborum. So we'll be looking at the origin insertion of these muscles and their innervation. So the so as major muscle here, this muscle here is the psoas major. So this is the psoas major muscle. It is a fusiform shaped muscle. It originates from the transverse process of the lumbar vertebrae here. And it also originates from the body of T12 to L5. That's where it originates. And it runs down eh? and it also crosses or moves under the inguinal ligament. So this is the inguinal ligament. It passes below the inguinal ligament and inserts at the lesser trochanter of the femur. Then the psoas major muscle is innervated by the spinal nerve roots of L2, L3, and L4. And this muscle helps in flexing the hip. It is a strong flexor of the hip. So this muscle flexes the hip. Then we have another muscle here on top of the psoas major. This is the psoas minor muscle. It is a small muscle. Many people don't have this muscle. So this is the psoas minor muscle. The psoas minor muscle originates from the body of T12 to L1 vertebrae. From the body of thoracic 12 and the lumbar 1 vertebrae. And the muscle forms a tendon. So you can see the tendon of the psoas. And the tendon of the psoas minor muscle inserts at the iliopubic eminence. The iliopubic eminence of the pelvic bone. So that is where it inserts. Then the psoas minor here is innervated by the branches of the spinal nerve L1. The spinal nerve L1 innervates it. And this muscle is a weak flexor of the trunk. So this muscle is a weak flexor of the trunk. Then we have the third muscle here. This muscle here that sits on the Idium of the pelvic bone. This muscle is known as the iliacus. It is known as the iliacus. This iliacus is a triangular muscle. Eh? And as you can see, it originates from the post, uh, iliac fossa. It originates from the iliac fossa and also the iliac crest. This is it. And it runs down below the inguinal ligament so insert at the lesser trochanter. This muscle cross below the inguinal ligament to insert at the lesser trochanter of the femur. The iliacus is innervated by the branches of the femoral nerve. I'll show us the femoral nerve crossing the iliacus so that you understand. So this is innervated by the femoral nerve and this iliacus is a flexor of the hip. It helps in flexing the hip. Then we have another muscle here. This muscle here. This is the quadratus lumborum. 
This is the quadratus rumborum. It is a quadrate shaped muzzle and it originates from the transverse process of L5 here. So, this is it from the L5, transverse process of L5 here. That's where it originates. It also originates from the EDI crest here, from the media part of the EDI crest. And it runs up, it runs up to insert at the transverse process of that's where it inserts. It is innervated by the spinal nerve T12 to L4. It is innervated by spinal nerve T12 to L4. So it helps in fixing the last rib during inspiration and it plays a role in lateral flexion of the vertebral codum. So that is it. Then the lumbar plexus is formed within the psoas major muscle. And also, the psoas major combined with the iliacus to form the iliopsoas muscle. To form the iliopsoas. Then, this nerve here, this nerve is the iliohypogastric nerve. It is a branch of the lumbar plexus. So, this is iliohypogastric nerve. Then, this nerve here, is the idioinguinal nerve. Then, this is the genitofemoral nerve. The genitofemoral nerve that divides into the genital group or genital branches and femoral branches. Then we have this nerve here. This is the femoral nerve. So this nerve is the femoral nerve. Then we have this nerve here. This nerve that I'm holding is known as the obturator nerve. It is at the medial side of the psoas major muscle, obturator. Why the femoral nerve is at the lateral side of the so has major. So this is the femoral nerve, and this is the obturator nerve. Then this is the kidney, the right kidney. You can see it. It lies in the posterior abdominal wall. So we we'll do a separate teaching for the kidney. And you can see the this is the ureter, the right ureter. This is the inferior vena cava. And the renal vein, this is the renal vein draining into the inferior vena cava. Then this is the abdominal iota. The abdominal iota divides into two the common idiotic artery, the right and the left common idiotic artery. So these are the muscles and also the nerves in the posterior abdominal wall. So let me do a recap of what I said. I told us that this is the psoas major muscle. This is the psoas minor muscle. And it is absent in many individuals. This muscle is the iliacus lying on the iliac fossa of the pelvic bone. So this is the iliacus, a triangular muscle. Then this muscle is the quadratus lumborum. So these are the muscles of the posterior abdominal wall. So we've come to the end of this teaching. I will encourage us to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Learn with Chisum Great. Like this video, share this video to your friends, and comment on this video. Thank you very much.